everyone, it's Sherry here. It's the 14th of the month and it's time to reveal our November card kit. This is a really nice card kit for fall and I'm going to start off with a stamp set and this one is called Apple of My Pie. It's designed by Christina Werner. It has messages that go together along with the apple pie, apple, and some really great fall leaves. Really nice set for this time of year. We've also included a rub-on set, and these are from Pebbles, and it's handmade for you, and these are really nice little rub-ons that you can add to your cards. Also from Pebbles are some puffy apples, and these are really great stickers. So it has either the cut apple or the full outside apple. And then there's this bag of chips. These are adorable. They even have nutrition facts on the back, which I thought was really fun. But there are 44 chipboards in here or die cuts in here. And later I'll go ahead and show you all those that are included. So those are really nice, really nice fall colors. The papers are also from Pebbles. There's eight sheets and these are six by six. And the front sides all have patterns and it's either cooking or fall leaves or the apple patterns, some words, and even some larger words. Uh, also some animals and there's animals in that die cut pack. When you flip these over you have really nice fall colors and they're really kind of um, like home cooking type patterns and even wood. So super 6x6 six six papers from Pebbles. For the card stocks, we've added in a three pack of the Simon Says Stamp 120 folded note cards, and that is the 120 pound, really nice heavy weight. The full sheets of card stock are Green Apple, Kona Roast, card stock, Burnt Orange, and Sea Glass from Simon Says Stamp. So that is the contents of the November 2015 card kit from Simon Says Stamp, and ready for fall. Here's a little bit closer look at the chips. There are so many in this little bag. There's really great sayings, almost like a chalkboard type saying. So I'll go ahead and spread these out for you so you can see all the different styles that are here. So you have animals, fall leaves, cooking clocks, vegetables, uh, flowers, and even mixers and jars of jelly. There is just something for everyone. And these are super fun to add to your cards. And for my card, I have used a die cut pear and also the flowers, and I did a little bit of stamping on my cardstock. I wanted to line up everything really well, and I'm using the folded note card, that 120 card, and I've used some of my anti static bag here, and I'm inking it up with some Versamark ink, and I'll just go ahead and flip the misty lid over and go ahead and press this onto that note card, pressing around really well. This will give me a really great impression. And once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and open that lid. Next, I'm going to be using some gold embossing powder, and that's from Simon Says Stamp. And I'll put a little catch sheet underneath, and I'll just go ahead and sprinkle this on. And then once I have that all on, I'll tap off the excess. The lettering of the stamp is really nice, and it's kind of bold, so it really holds up to the embossing. So now I'm heat embossing this, and I have let my gun heat up just a little bit. It's easier to let it heat up first, especially when you're doing your metallic embossing powders. So I'm just running over this and heating that up until I get a really nice shine. I'm keeping my card fairly simple. I've cut up a couple strips of the card stock, and I'm just going to go ahead and put those right onto the card. So I've added a little tape runner adhesive to this little bit wider strip and this is a really cute little green plaid and I'm making sure that I'm lining that up to my message and to the bottom and that's where the misty comes in really handy is it helps you just really line everything up. So now I have a really skinny piece of that gold pattern paper and I'll just go ahead and line this up just to kind of border that green paper just ever so slightly. And once I have those papers down in place, I can go ahead and trim off the excess with my scissors. I've put a couple of the die cut pieces together and I've used some of my phone tape. I'll go ahead and flip that over. And I've kind of double stacked uh, the pair so that it has like two pieces or two layers of the foam tape. So I'll go ahead and remove um, some of the backing from this. And I'll grab some lint from my pants and that helps me to kind of um, untacky that foam tape in case I want to reposition my arrangement here. So I'll go ahead and set this down and if I need to I'll lift that up and rearrange. I don't want to cover up any of my words. So once I'm happy with the placement I can go ahead and press that down. 
to finish off my card, I have just wrapped it around a couple times with some twine and tied that in a bow. And so there I have a really quick card for fall using the November card kit from Simon Says Stamp. Thanks for watching and enjoy.